Hey everybody, it's Angelita and I wanted to do a quick little video to show you how to activate hyperlinks and take action buttons that you may want to use in your blogs or in your emails to your list. So I actually started, um, I've already logged into my Empower Network blog and I titled this how to activate hyperlinks and take action buttons. Started with a little, a little picture and a little intro knowing how to activate a hyperlink is very important if you want people to take action if you're new to online marketing and to um, creating content online there are some things that you will have to commit to learning it's okay though because if you commit to finding out how to do things you don't know you will reap the benefits okay so here goes. I'm actually going to demonstrate and I'm going to put this video inside of the blog. If you want to create a hyper, oops, hyperlink using HTML code, you need to do the following. Alright, so I'm going to switch views. This is what the HTML code version looks like. That's the visual version. Um, so first, this is this, not to be too technical, it's just a non-breaking space. That's what that stands for. So the code is a h ref, and then you want to put the so if I wanted to uh, do join now, oops, need close it. Join me now, and then you end it. <clears throat> Not to get too technical, but for every um, tag, this is called a tag, this first part. For every tag that you start, you have to have one that ends with a slash and a. So let's check and make sure. And see, when you look at it visually, then I can click the join me now, and it's ready. So that's how you do it with... Um, I'm going to say for text example. All right. So for the text example, oops. Okay. Benefit also that you have is if you want to use the visual e <laughs> easy button version, easy mode, I'm sorry, then you type the text. Okay, so I'm going to highlight this text, I'm going to click this thing that looks like a chain, and then I'm going to um,
do that. You add link. So there's the text version, and then there's the version where you highlight. So since we're already in the visual one, I'm actually going to do image, image hyperlink. So first, I actually have some images already loaded, so I'm going to add media. Let's see. Um, so if I wanted to do this, take action. So I insert that into the post. I'm actually going to make it a little bit smaller. Update. Let's say I wanted to add a hyperlink to take action. I would highlight it just like I did before. Click the thing that has a link on it. Join. Right link. So now that's a hyperlink. And when I switch to the text version, you'll see that we have a little bit more of HTML code where the difference is where before we just had um, this in here where we just put the website and this time it gives us the location of the image. <coughs> So this is a, like I said, just a little quick, very quick tutorial. There are a lot of more details that I could go into, but my goal was to make this short and sweet so you could see how it works. And hopefully that little bit of information helped you.